the life's mission. And uh, yeah, th this COVID crisis, of course, uh, pushes some entrepreneurs to the extreme. Um, and I'll give you from a profit first context what to do. Some people ask me, oh, should I, should I start reducing my profit first percentages? Maybe in, in some circumstances increase it. Like how should I adjust that? And my answer is don't do either. The, the goal with profit first is to sustain your percentages and let the business speak to you. So say I'm running a 10% profit. Every deposit comes in, 10% is going toward profit. And I continue to do that. Well, that means the OPEX is still be fun, is being funded the same way. If you see decreasing cash in your OPEX, that's an indicator expenses are too high. We need to control expenses or margins aren't present. So we got to increase margins. If you see a circumstance where you see actually the cash reserves in the OPEX account increasing, well, that means we can actually adjust the percentages in favor of profit. But you won't know that if you try to outthink the system. If you try to be one mm -hmm. step ahead, you actually start to disarm or uh, kind of numb your ability to be responsive. So keep the profit percentages the same. In, in, in regards to kind of the, the external things you can do outside the profit first system is immediately look for ways to reinvent your business. You may not need to, but I don't consider this the great recession. We had that in 2008. I consider this the great reinvention. There's been such a shift mm. to business, such a shift to consumer perception that things will not go back to the old ways. There's going to be a new way. And the businesses that respond uh, and address a new level of service, a new way of positioning ourselves are the winners. I've studied now every recession back to the, the 1929 Great Depression. And there's always been a common arc or sequence we go through. One of the common key factors is the thriving of small business in a recession. And I'm not saying all small businesses has a wonderful time, clearly not. But certain small businesses adjust to new demand and become the new juggernauts. The, the big companies today, they can't shift, they can't change overnight. They're, they're riding cruise ships, we're in jet skis. So use this as an opportunity to reinvent your industry and you can become the dominant force.